Hey everyone, in our last video, we talked about ERA, how it's calculated, why we use it, and its flaws. In this segment, we will be discussing fielding independent pitching or FIP. FIP is a pitching metric that better measures how a pitcher actually performed. What makes FIP different is that it isolates factors a pitcher has more control over and ultimately gives us a better tool in predicting future performance compared to ERA. FIP is one of many defensive independent pitching statistics, or DIPS for short. The main methodology behind FIP is to remove team defense out of the equation and sequencing of hits because a pitcher has little control over what happens once a ball is put in play and the quality of defense behind them. If you're trying to analyze how well a particular pitcher threw, you likely wouldn't consider factors that he can't control. If he plays for a team with a below average defense, more hits can get through and more errors may be made, worsening a pitcher's stat such as ERA. Because of this, fielding independent pitching attempts to isolate and evaluate what the pitcher does have more control over, which is their ability to get strikeouts, limit walks, and home runs. You may have heard strikeouts, home runs, and walks as the three true outcomes. Understanding a pitcher's ability to influence the three true outcomes can give us a more accurate indication of their performance. FIP is calculated using the following equation. We use linear weights to correctly value each outcome, with the C being a constant, which matches the league average FIP to league average ERA. You can find each year's league constant on Fangraphs.com. While the equation may look complicated, what you need to know is that FIP is meant to look and feel like ERA, which is already familiar, where lower is better. Unlike ERA, which tells us how many runs a pitcher actually gave up, FIP instead tries to calculate what a pitcher's ERA should have been based on their ability to influence the three true outcomes with league average results on balls in play. Even though FIP is thought to be more useful in evaluating a pitcher than ERA, it's not without its flaws either. Mainly the same way that pitchers have little control over the outcomes of balls in play, they also have limited control over the environments they play in. This refers to ballpark factors where in one stadium, a pitcher who gives up a fly ball to left center field that goes 379 feet is a home run, and where in others, it may not be. FIP is not park or league adjusted, although there are other versions that can account for this. FIP is a starting tool that strives to better represent a pitcher's performance than ERA. It's proven to be a much better predictor of future ERA than ERA itself, and when used correctly, it can help evaluate certain components of a pitcher's game. You can read more on this topic and find FIP on player pages on Fangraphs, and it's the base metric for its player wins above replacement valuation. We hope you guys enjoyed, and keep going, and thanks for watching. Oh,